Hello guys, my name is Anna Smith and welcome back to episode of Frau Helen. So, um, this is the fourth episode, so if you guys haven't checked out the previous episodes, you can go check it out on my channel. And um, yeah, I'm going to continue where we left off yesterday. Um, I just need to load this thing. And yeah. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant, buying it with Panther from getting me distracted, so let's buy it. A uh, hollow plant. There. I don't think I need anything else, so let's return. Chill is pleased for herself. Where's the Is this it? Is there anything here? I think I did it to you guys. Let's just save again for whatever reason it is and let's see it work. Good evening. Hey Jill. What? That's a sound you don't hear every day. What, boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the tongue. Wait, do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan on following every move, Jill, I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. He's not happy. <laughs> well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and and really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was good. <laughs> Don't worry, you have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong? Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead. Warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing, never mind. She seems happy. <laughs> She's been tense these past couple of days, but she's somehow relaxed now. Good. Are you all set? Yep. Alright. Let's pick someone from the lovely page. Time to make drinks and change lives. Hey Brad, you're in luck. I decided to blast this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I do? What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. I wonder what he means. I seriously wonder. I don't know what he wants. Oh wait, from experience, he wants the big one. Okay, let's try it. Shit! There. There you go. Yes, now that's what I call a surface. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All of those crazy bitches came flocking to me like a first high schooler with car. I couldn't deal with it, so I searched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but who held with that? And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How did that come up? How did that come about? There's this girl that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was tuning the details of the interview I passed with her. And 
Like I said, I'd rather work here than be home with the pack of common big fish. I see. How was that? How was the interview? Easy enough. The pack just didn't fall. That the dolls have the nice pair of knockers help. We've come a long way in the department of Lilim sex here, I thought. She was a Lilim then? Yes, one of those new fancy kick class CH1A models. I've heard they're unhappy correct them. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hey you, big guy with a John face. <laughs> huh, me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do you know I Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, 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 wait. It was the Hong Kong riot 10 years ago, right? I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-war force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan. Do I look like some anarchist to me to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a site silicon business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damn riots were done. Seriously though, did they really think the loss they were trying to pass would backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have given capabilities to put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying, segregation is like that, it seems. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's it. Very like an way of summarizing the city. I mean, there was a political agenda involving about cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that like many people will become power hungry manics is the key factor in the plans. And everything is posted in the aftermath of the previous protests were where and second thought, maybe it's better to be left. Trying to get the full picture might take you back to an industrial revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Yeah, scholarship, that's no mean to be bad. Well, I guess even without scholarship, there would have been a language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I, really, I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some big red face pencil now. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship still might have a chance. Why do I feel like the Sunday challenge me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Mandarin? Cantonese okay, what? When people say Chinese, they are usually referring to the Brighton word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are a lot of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Chinese, just say the same Chinese with you. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the only one. The ones spoken by the Mandarin in Australia. I went to Hong Kong and managed to steal the deal. I have no idea of anything else. Right. Anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars blast too, right? Sure, on it. I want some Mars blast? That's changed the place. Alright. Okay, wait, let me bring you. Anything about it? You don't run any blocks, right? No microphones hiding between your boobs. Do you have boobs at all? <laughs> There's this one blog I wrote when I was 12, but it just fills me with shame, so I try to forget it exists. Okay then. I start with the same boring questions. How are you? Why chose this place? How's the, how is, how's the city? The tour? New single? Blah blah blah. It went by for pretty. It was their regular interview stance to us, we call it interview stance. 
so I tried some fun questions after awards. How big are your tits? Is it true that you don't wear underwear on, street? on stage? Are you still a virgin? How did you react? She answered him like it was the most natural thing on earth. I don't think I would- I want to know what kind of question other people have asked. I did it to get a reaction out of her, but she just took it in her stride. Huh. In the case you were interested, the answers were 91 centimeters, depends on the costume, and no. I see. The room backstage was filled to the brim with gifts of all sorts. Dolls, blue roses, chocolates, fruits, I'm pretty sure I saw at least three dildos in there. Thanks for the info, I guess. Perhaps you much into the behind some face. You're lucky, in, you're lucky in a good mood. Dad, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this big little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating, did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last ring before I leave. Give me something better to wake me up. Sure. Got punch, wild driver, arts flex. Um works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the hate today. Oh? Yeah, that kid, Joel, Jean, Guillermo, Hiroita, I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about the odd life for me. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I do know I feel like I can't talk to him. Big time today by taking his dick away. First of all, I left him to fend off the back of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anymore, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never come along with another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. <laughs> what if it's your dad? Then I stutter? Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that would mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be at my back and hold back. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere and I'll do that the newspaper. Even the food critics comment, it should be great. Heh, <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you, please come again. Doesn't be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. Oh, I got that a lot. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Do you check the internet for help? How to take up Valkyrie type white knight helmet is not precisely a common prayer, you know? I could break it, but I didn't want to damage clients proper. But what? Did you run out of hair? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in full helmet. Shit, you don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of hair with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me, I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need someone plugging up twice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of, a couple of times, but she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? 
too well even if there's no god or buddha you can always trust box yeah let's hope you're right hey honey can you see me ah the rafi yeah i can see you why another waifu really man did they sound like the wrong stuff who told you what jill i'm going to out for a bit to buy a screwdriver a screwdriver and bacon and are you talking to yourself again no i'm not hello Oh, hello there, Rafi, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer, not an optic and a flash system. Um, can you explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping at or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible. Come again? See, there's people out there with a the fetish or or visible people. Honestly, seriously, is this a thing? <laughs> Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to the fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. And then, would your clothes be invisible to me with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you both have, you have one. Oh well. I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a na nano camo with you. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently brands these civilian appliances. They're used in a technology to make fabric or other materials that take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of their clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with that you want to? If I remember correctly, they have a model that made things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite priceless and chocolate. Almost? The human eye? Well, it's not perfect if you move to the eerie surrounding color blob. And the Lilim sees things differently, so it's in the inner perspective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? My waifu, my waifu! Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano look. Sure. Damn. One piano woman. Thanks, I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions. I'm feeling good or when I need to get off And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, you think it's from Friday. I believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled with the dream with God. I would have enjoyed the dream here anyway. the way. I don't see this thing as should be found in. But then again, they were in for guys, so there is a daily contract call for anything. You know? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, people can an arrangement. Keep me fat and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get an audit, but I think I'll pass. I'll already have to cut that cross on that. Do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible? Fine! Consider this! Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey John! Ah, there are they. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff off the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did he do? What did he do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? He also been in complete misery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mask that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? He hears so much from himself, it's hard to make connections with what happens when. And you know people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said I'm not the one to judge. It seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. <laughs> I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... A bit early for a story, such as then. Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. 
I have a job too, you know? Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. Entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not completely weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to, his, to be his daughter. Really? Ah, oh, that's the... That's the... That's the... That's the... Sex guy. <laughs> yeah, I go to his house at 11am, dressed as requested, and spent all day here. there. Play some games, officially tell him I love him, go to bed when order, and leave. Nothing sexual, just I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that will happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of, on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Pat, seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody, I said nothing. Give me a moon glass, will you? Sure. something about the concert outside a concert yeah now that you mention it i remember seeing a line near the stadium a couple of blocks away they couldn't take their eyes off of me so i took some photos of them oh what do you ask someone was here just a minute ago seems he wasn't reviewing the star of the show really what kind of person is the star some girl he didn't tell me her name seems she's a clean class ch ch1a oh what's with that reaction Nothing, it's just that the CHI1A is the model who comes to their mind. Really? Yeah, they think they are so important because they have more sensitivity points in their skin. And because their voice modulators are more advanced. They do? No, I'm just kind of jealous that they do. I have to mock myself to have what they have from the get-go, you know? Wait, they didn't make the fc 70 like you anymore? My line is quite alive and well, thank you very much. The difference with the CH1A is mostly that they sacrifice functionality for its appearance. They don't have an expansion port in their heads and their senses and abilities are more akin to those of humans. They're mostly for human standards, while my line is slightly more work oriented. Huh, I see. Oh yeah, I think I saw the poster poster outside the bar. Poster? You work here, you should know which one. I kind of forget things set up and free from time to time, all because of TV and Jojo. Who? The vending machines outside. We blabber so much I've learned to ignore anything and so on. Oh, and here I was wondering why their volumes were this so much. They're interesting to talk with, they just talk so much. You can actually get physically sick from listening to them for so for too long. Good evening, Jill. Jill and Gillian, both of them Does it happen a lot? Don't have a last if Jill would just got to call her Jules. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish it. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Jill. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't got to do that. I insist. I got a happy bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it would be important of me to a job. Sure, I'll take your off. Yay, honey! I'll have a big sunset club. I mean, honey, just not much. Come on, that is stingy. I asked for more, something more intense. I'd better not. Man, that girl puts me on the edge with the way she loves me. Okay, then let me get your orders. One big sunset club.
Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy. May I ask you something? Uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card to update the fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the BFC 71 leaves tracking metal machines in the other person after, well, after they file it every hole in your body regardless of its original post? Yeah. That's a semi myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking on the machines, but they are released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of people the DRC something use who marry, get nervous on their wedding night and bam, their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that it's any tracking on the machines were still being released. I'd have to comment there, and I see, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just it. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is the logo? Just enough that my skin still feels overdone. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meaning. Thank you. Please come again. That girl, something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to breathe for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take mine. Gil, I need your girly hands for a second here. Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize. I apologize if I'm taking time from your bed, break. Oh, it's alright. I can take a break in real life. Okay, so that's all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> oh my god, that's a, bad, that's a really bad timing for ending this episode, huh? But anyways, I'm just gonna end this episode here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya!